All right, so Frosty says, I started lucid dreaming a week ago. I try started trying to lucid dream a week ago and I only just had my first lucid dream. I was able to become lucid because of the clues that led me to do a reality check, okay, to actually ask yourself if you're dreaming. This was the only time that they've become lucid. Every other time they tried to induce a lucid dream doing the mild technique, the mnemonic induced lucid dream, and they were able to recall their dreams every night, but were unable to become lucid. And they've asked, what am I doing wrong? Well, to be honest, you're not doing anything wrong. That is exactly what I would suggest doing. I wouldn't suggest doing the way back to bed uh, unless you've never had a lucid dream. You just want to have that first experience and you don't care how tired you feel the next morning. But what I would say is the mild technique, it's a very passive, uh, almost random technique in the sense that once you learn it, you don't have to rely on something specific that you need to do. It's just a case of building up a few habits, doing a few things every day, and then you'll randomly have a lucid, or you'll, you'll spontaneously have a dream. Um, and so that is what I would recommend doing. That is actually my preferred technique, believe it or not. Not because it's more effective, but just because it's less harmful to my sleep. So I know that if I do the wake back to bed technique every night, I'm gonna feel awful. I'm gonna not have any energy. I'm not gonna sleep well or even fully uh, because you're, it involves cutting your sleep from eight hours as a solid block into six hours and two hours. Um, so it's, there are swings and roundabouts. It's always a double-edged sword. Uh, there are always pros and cons to both sides of things. The really important thing is you're already remembering your dreams. Okay, you, you can remember your dreams. That is a, a huge part of this. And the biggest struggle for a lot of people is they just can't remember their dreams. You've already cracked that. So you're doing really well. You know, you just need to actually take that one step further. Not only remember and write down your dreams, but learn to be aware during the dream. And that's really what, that, that catches most people out. You know, for everyone that tries to lucid dream and actually does have a lucid dream, there are probably thousands of people who try and don't have a lucid dream. So you're not in, it's not strange you're doing well in the sense that you can remember your dreams in the first place. You know, most people don't, and that's because they just don't try to. The fact that you've actually managed to get to a point where you can remember your dreams, that's huge. You can turn that into something really special just by doing a few extra things. And those things might be doing more reality checks, it might be meditating, it might even just be learning more about lucid dreaming or being more inspired. One of the, the biggest things I, I teach in my boot camp, which you can, there's a link in the description, but one of the biggest things I teach is to actually inspire yourself and prime your mind and your bedroom and like set your entire environment up to be very conducive to having a lucid dream, to make it so easy that the odds are just stacked so heavily in your favor that really you just have to follow the steps, you know, and believe in yourself, you'll have a lucid dream easily. Especially if like you, you can already remember your dreams every single night, that's a massive part of this anyway. That's probably more important than the other stuff that I, that I teach. Okay, it's actually getting to a point where you can remember your dreams, that's massive. So don't be discouraged, okay? Um, you're on the right track. You just need to keep learning more about lucid dreaming and you just need to keep moving forward. There are loads of nights when I don't even want to have a lucid dream. I just want to have a vivid dream and actually remember it. Sometimes they're even more profound. So don't think of it like a, a bad thing. Just see it, see it as another step towards your ultimate goal of being a lucid dreamer. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.